Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Tiny 8.1. Now in the past, we've taken a look at Tiny 10, Tiny 11, Tiny 7, Tiny Vista, I believe even Tiny XP. But there's one OS that we've always skipped over and it wasn't intentional. It is Tiny 8.1. So again, in this video, we're gonna be trying this out. This is an ISO I actually found on archive.org. Um, it is not obviously made by NT Dev like Tiny 10 and Tiny 11, but it does offer similar promises. I believe it's Windows 8.1 on a like 6 gig installation. The ISO itself was 1.71 gigabytes. Um, and as you can see, it's quote official name is Windows 8.1 cleaned by SASNet. But obviously in the community, it's more known as Tiny 8.1. So as we can see, Windows 8, click next, click unallocated space, and installing. It completely skipped over the EULA and all the terms and all that fun legal stuff. And obviously, as you can see, the background is changed from the standard purple background. So we're going to go ahead and let this install, and then we'll get back into it. Before we do that, I do want to show you the specs of this VM, just so we know what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a one core Core i7-10700K and two gigabytes of RAM. So nothing too crazy for a lightweight. I mean, that's something I would probably run Windows Vista XP or 7 on, but probably not Windows 8. So... Let's see how this clean, tiny 8.1 OS handles this lightweight and low-spec VM. All right, and here we are in the out-of-box experience. This looks obviously like the regular Windows 8 experience, which is interesting because some custom ISOs actually completely wipe out this out-of-box experience entirely and just take you straight in the desktop with setup scripts. So I'm glad that they left at least some level of customization where you can set your username and your password and your password hint but it doesn't look like they left the part where you could choose the PC name or the PC colors or things like that. I really do kind of miss that element of customization um, in terms of setting the theme and the colors and setup. Obviously, I don't think that's something that should exist in Windows Pro, but for Windows Home, I mean, again, I haven't installed Windows Home in probably five or six years. Maybe it is. So first thing, just for better viewing pleasure, we're going to go ahead and install VMware Tools. But before we do that, I actually want to take a look at our disk space. So we're using 6 gigs roughly, actually a little bit less than 6 gigs of space. And then in Task Manager, we are using, let's see, 15, okay, it's going to come back down. It's, we're using about 1% of our CPU and half a gig of RAM, not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and install VMware Tools just so you guys get a little bit better viewing and then we're going to go ahead and get into the actual video taking a look at this OS. So here we go, Just this is a traditional VMware Tools install, nothing really special here, just kind of going through the motions and doing the same thing we do in every video. And here we are. First things first, this background is quite unique, I actually kind of like it, I like the colors. I don't like that watermark there, that is the developers of this build, sasnet.eu, pretty cool. So on the desktop, we have our user folder. And of course, this name would change based on what you named your user. I just happen to name it Win. Down below, we have this PC, which does show all kinds of stuff. Computer name is by SASNet, so that's maybe why we couldn't customize it in setup. We then have the recycle bin, and then we have info. Hello W, I am happy to use this version of Windows. Stay comfortable, it is the best you've ever had. Windows cleaned in Romania. Email, website, YouTube, and then if you want to donate. But I would assume that that donation is long gone by now. On the taskbar, our taskbar by default is in collapsed mode, so it's not the full experience that you would get in traditional Windows 8. We, of course, have our show desktop button, and I uh, just see the charms bar peek out. There we go. Uh, clock, volume, that does not appear to play sounds when you adjust it, which is kind of dumb. Network settings as well as there's our VMware tools and to safely remove hardware. Over here we have our file explorer, which for a second there I was a little worried. It looked like we were missing a bunch of things, but it just needed expanded, which is okay. File explorer looks like, again, our traditional Windows 8 file explorer. You really forget how bare it was until you compare it to today's file explorer, which I guess you could take for good or bad considering how, I don't know, this, is, this seems more lightweight than what we have today. And then, of course, Internet Explorer, which is probably IE 11. Yep, IE 11. I have a lot of memories on Internet Explorer 11. Opening the Start screen, not the Start menu, we can see we have three entire things on our Start screen. We have Internet Explorer, which cannot open while user account control is off. That is kind of dumb. 
We then also have, we should probably close that, there we go, the file explorer, and then we have our desktop. If we try to go to all apps, there we go, this is everything installed on this build. As you can see, we have desktop, documents, Internet Explorer, PC settings, pictures, calculator, notepad, paint, media player, command prompt, control panel, default programs, file explorer, run, task manager, this PC, and Windows PowerShell. And of course, our search for the list of apps that is already tiny. There are literally 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There are 17 apps on this system. That is less than even like Tiny 11 or Tiny 10. I mean, this is really, really, really stripped down. On top of an operating system that is already incredibly tiny and lightweight, Windows 8 and Windows primarily Windows 8.1 is you can run it on pretty much anything if your PC could run Windows XP dare I even say 2000 it could probably run Windows 8 with relatively no issues and now you have this OS that is even more lightweight than its base and let's see let's see now that we have VMware tools on here let's see our specs here so now that we've actually gotten into the OS a little bit we're idling at 2% CPU as well as 0.8 megabytes of RAM which leaves us 1.2 free to do whatever we want and in terms of disk space, yes, now we are using over 6 gigs. So not bad for a you know fresh install of Windows. Now with modern versions of Windows 11 taking even more than that. Um, let's see if we get any backgrounds by default. It appears like the only themes we have are Windows and the Lines and Colors theme. And then our backgrounds, we have literally only that one. And then we have some default Windows 8 ones. So not too, too much customization we can do there. So with that being said, this is a brief overview of Windows of Tiny 8.1 or Windows 8.1.3 cleaned by SASNet. Tiny 8.1 rolls a little bit better off the tongue, so that's what we're sticking with. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.